Hey guys, my name is Joseph and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do something interesting. We're going to use artificial intelligence and computer vision to control a drone. So I have this drone here from DJI and it's called Tello. Yeah, you can do some cool stuff with this drone. But what I want to do is to program this drone and see if I can control it by giving it a voice command, right? Like if I say drone, take off, it should be able to take off. Yeah, that's what we're going to do today. But the thing is, what I was thinking is that uh, the drone should be able to take off once I give it I give it a voice command. And then after taking off, it should be able to track my face, you know, track my face and then follow me. Yeah, it should be able to follow me. It should be able to follow me because that's computer vision. Yeah, computer vision is all about training robots and machines to you know, detect objects around them. So this is what I'm gonna be doing with this drone here. So once you buy the drone, you have two options to fly it. The first option is that you can download the app from DJI also, and the app is called Tello, right? You can install the app on your phone, your tablet, your iPad, or on your iPhone. And then you should be able to fly the drone. And the second option is that you can use this one, this control, this joystick control to fly the drone. No, it's a cool one. But what I want to do is to program the drone. All right, now I'm going outside and see if I can find a good place where I can start flying the drone. That's the first thing I have to do. And then I will come back to start writing the code. And honestly, I don't think this is going to be as easy as I think. But let's try. I started by packing everything I need, like the batteries and the drone itself. Then put them inside the bag and now we are ready to go. Oops, I almost forgot the joystick control. Yeah, now let's go in. We started moving to the place where I think it's the right place to fly the drone because, to be honest, it is so, so hot outside, oh my god. And here we are, the right spot to test the drone. Let's do it.
So guys, um, after testing the drone, I can see it's working perfectly. So the next step is to see if I can write some Python code to control this drone using the keyboard, okay, the keyboard of the computer. Um, I'm gonna be using this one, and I think this one, this one is so big, right? So I will use this one to write the code, and I'm gonna be using this one to, to control the drone, okay? I'm going to uh, program some keys of this keyboard and see if I can control the drone using them. And this keyboard is really nice, you know, you can use it like um, as, a, as a joystick also, right? To play games if you like playing games. Me, honestly, I don't like playing games, so I use this one to control some stuff here and write some codes. Uh, okay, so this is it. Let's get started, guys. I started by creating a keypad module using Pygame, which I think is one of the best libraries to make games in, in Python. So what it basically does is that you will initialize the keyboard and create a main window which will be displayed while the program runs. And after that, I created the main file where I put all the instructions for every key I will be using to control the drone. I created a GitHub repository where I put all the codes of this project. You can find the link in the description below. So guys, um, it, seem, it, se it seems that it's working fine, you know, but um, there is some bug uh, on the code, I think, so uh, I have to do some modifications on the code. I think the speed is too low, right, it's too low, so uh, sometimes even if I try to, to go forward or back, uh, left or right, it's not working that fine. So I'm going to make some changes now on the code and then we're going to see how it's going to work, right? Let's go. So I changed the speed from 50 to 80. Uh, now let's see how it's going to perform. Let's go, guys. Let's, let me test the drone here. And based on, the, based on the codes, the way I program this keyboard is that if I press the, the R key, the R key, it should take off and if I press the Q it should land and the errors the arrows are for you know going forward backwards up and down and then W S anyways let's just try it okay okay now once I press R on the keyboard here it should the drone should should take off okay uh, wow I think it has disconnected you see now I just turn it on on um, yeah let me connect now and then we're going to see how it's going to, to work okay it has connected now let's try the drone I'm going to place it here and if I press R key it has to take off okay let's try if I press R oh yeah it's flying but I, I think it has whoop 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 okay whoop 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 <laughs> anyways it's working I think there is still some changes I have to make on the code there and it's strange if if I'm pressing when I press W let me check how I program this
So uh, I think after some changes and I changed the place, I think the thing is working perfectly. So let's go now to the next point, which is voice command to operate the drone. All right, guys, now that I can control the drone using this keypad, the next thing I'm going to do is haha, to go to the topic, to the main topic, which is to give a voice command, you know, to control the drone. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is to give it uh, a command, you know, I will call it take off or activate the drone and the drone should be able to take off. So I'm going to make some changes to my Lisa, you know, my personal assistant to see if by giving a voice command, the drone will be able to take off or not. So guys, and after, after this, I will uh, write another code to make the drone be able to track my face. So it's like, uh, if I give it a voice command, the drone should be able to track my face movements. If I go left, right, up and down, the drone will track my face and follow my face movements. So, but the first thing I'm going to do is to add the, the very simple voice command to, to make the drone take off. Okay guys, so let's get into it. Okay, I'm, I already made some changes uh, and the first thing, let me see if my personal assistant is working and then uh, we're going to control the drone by giving it a voice command. Starting all systems applications. Setting up the speech recognition. The speech recognition is ready. Establishing the connection with the Arduino board. Please, wait a moment. The connection has been established. Hello, my name is Lisa. Good afternoon, Joseph. Hello, Lisa. Yes, Joseph. Tell me how may I help you? How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Is there anything that I can do for you, Joseph? Lisa, what's the time? So, um, is, it, is it, it working using the internet? You know, it, it depends on the speed of the internet. And uh, now let's see how it's going to perform. Starting all systems applications. Setting up the speech recognition. The speech recognition is ready. Establishing the connection with the Arduino board. Please, wait a moment. The connection has been established. Hello, my name is Lisa. Good afternoon, Joseph. Hello, Lisa. Yes, Joseph. Tell me how may I help you? Uh, can you tell me the current time now? The current time is 4.27. Lisa, how are you today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Is there anything that I can do for you, Joseph? Lisa, stay offline. Okay. See you next time. Okay. It's working. And see if we can, like, control our drone by giving it voice command because the goal is just giving it a voice command and then the drone will be doing uh, the rest so um, let me add that now and then see if we can control our drone by telling Lisa to do so so after doing some corrections on the code on the command also I think now the drone is working I think now we can control the drone by giving it a voice command. So let me show you guys. Locations. Setting up the speech recognition. The speech recognition is ready. Establishing the connection with the Arduino board. Please wait a moment. The connection has been established. Hello, my name is Lisa. Good afternoon, Joseph. Hello, Lisa. 
Yes, Joseph. Tell me how may I help you? Activate the drone. All right, Joseph. Land the drone. All right, all right, all right, guys. Finally, we can give some voice commands to control our drone. But the problem is I don't stop there, right? I'm a little bit stubborn. I want to do a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is to program the drone to track my face and then follow its movements. But before that, I want to remind you guys, if, you, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please, do that favor click on the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so that you can get notified every time i upload a video and by doing so you will be helping me you will be helping my channel to grow and i'll be thankful so let's get into it this is the final application for this drone and i hope you guys like it it's been a long day so i had to ask a friend of mine for help and while I was fixing some bugs on the code, he was there making sure the drone can track faces and follow the movements. So this is all for this video and I will probably make a part 2 of this project and show you some issues I might face trying to run Lisa and OpenCV at the same time. So guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.